question for the day for you. If you want a pair of sneakers or shoes, brand new, and the child told you they wanted these shoes, and then later on they said they did not want the shoes, they want a different pair that was even more expensive, would you go buy another pair of shoes, even though it was expensive? Do you feel that's right? Um, another question for you. Is it, in your opinion, that a child, because they're in a co-parenting habitation of staying with one parent or another parent, should be respected of the parent they visit or the parent they live with? Do you think that has something to do for when they're asking for something and how the child views you on both sides? And would you make a plan to do cooperative co-parenting with your partner for healthy results for your children where it benefits both of you where one is not dragging the other or being disrespectful of the other parent no matter the situation i think that's healthy for a child to find out the faults of the other parent or that parent they're with to find out for themselves but not to pre make the child prejudice of the any parent because it makes it harder for them to adjust my opinion for them to adjust in life and for them to function and to know their stability it has a hard feeling because some of the things we do and say as a parent and as a child it can mark them and scar them for a year so i say sit down and talk with your co-parent partner and talk to your child and figure out where they are why are they making demands for new shoes is something going on at school there is another reaction that we're not looking at behind all these things are going on I hope this gives you something to think about. I look for your comments below. Bye.